And if you wired your circuit correct, Amber, if you switch switch one, the green light comes on. And if you switch switch one off, the green light goes out. We're going to start with a basic circuit and wire up a light. So our trainer has a 24 volt power supply. And we're going to wire up the green light. So Amber, how would I wire this green light? I do not know, Tim. How many terminals are on the light? Two. So yeah, we have a terminal there and a terminal there. So I'm assuming your positive needs to be connected to one of the terminals and your negative needs to be connected to one of your terminals. That's right. Now, how do we know which one's positive and which one's negative? Good question. Do tell. On some devices, polarity matters. And so you'll see a label of plus or minus. On the lights on the trainer, it actually doesn't. But you go ahead and hook up these two wires to light one. Then on our trainers, the left set of terminal blocks is our plus 24 volt, and the right set is the minus 24 volt. So I'm going to connect one to the plus and the other to the minus. And our green light lights up. Now, Amber, just like our light up on the shed that never turns off, I'm getting annoyed by this light being on all the time. So if I wanted to take switch one and turn this light off, how would I do it? You, you would need to dis disconnect the positive 24 volt to the green light. That's right. So we're going to cut into this right here, and we're going to put in switch one. And now if you switch switch one on, light comes on. If you switch it off, it goes off. And this is what you'll see not only for a basic light circuit, but also, let's say, an enable to a VFD. The next one we want to learn about is a start-stop circuit. But before we can do that, we've got to understand how relays work. And click here to follow us over there.